And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. And also, welcome to Laura Ward, the president and CEO of Houston Children's Charity, an organization that's made such a big difference in the successes of many organizations in our community for years. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Kimbrell, for having me. Oh, it's great to see you. Now, I, I know about your charity organization because your organization helped me when I was running an organization here as well. Really? For those people who do not know what your organization does, let them know what uh, Houston children's charity does well we don't do quite a bit I know so I could take up the entire <laughs> show on that question but what we do is serve as a bridging arm to so many other organizations who don't have the funding foundation mm -hmm. that we do and we fund uh, programs for other organizations and we have five of our own programs which keep us quite busy we don't do quite as much uh, funding of other organizations as we used to mm -hmm. uh, in the, our beginnings in 1996. Right. We focus on our own uh, bed program, our van program. They're all very important to us right now, and the need has gotten so large, Cambrell, that sometimes we just can't help as many other organizations as we used to. Well, you do have a very potent board of people who are... Um in good positions. word. Good, yeah. good <laughs> word. Good positions to help out, and that, that's very helpful. Tillman Fertitta, I understand, is the chair of your board right now, so he's not exactly uninfluential. Uh, but after Hurricane Harvey now, the torrential rain, flooding uh, uh, impacted thousands of homes and apartments, and that means families as well, and that means children too. Not only are you raising money now to buy beds, but you're raising money to buy beds for thousands of children, the beds, the mattresses, the linens, all of that. Talk about how your organization came to be partnered with Carlos Correa in trying to make sure that this is a success. Well, we've had a bed program for 10 years now. Okay. And we provide these beds to children in their homes who have never before had a bed. In 2016, uh, they've never had a bed. And see, that, yeah, I had stop you in on that In Houston, second. Texas. That's an Many of them, thousands every night. Sleeping on the floor? Infants the sleeping in cardboard boxes, dresser drawers, uh, three children sleeping on a twin bed. And that's bed. before Harvey? That's before Harvey. Okay, now Harvey that's just exacerbates before Harvey. it. Okay, sorry. Well, and, and since Harvey, uh, well, let me go back to Carlos. So in 2016, Carlos uh, came to us and said, I want to help, and I heard you had a bed program. Carlos grew up in Puerto Rico uh, in a family that did not have a lot, and he shared a bed when he had a bed. So he knows the value of giving a bed to a child and what it does to their normal routine during the day, to their performance in school. He was aware of all of that. Carlos is quite bright for his 22 years. So in 2016, we partnered, and Carlos had a vision to take the 2,000 children that we had on a wait list and take them off the wait list and give them a bed, and we did that. And so now after Harvey, you have another group of children that you're trying to help. Over 5,000 on our wait list today. And what's the goal for the money that you need to raise, and where are you approximately? Uh, we're trying to raise $500,000. We've raised about 350, mm -hmm. And we will continue to raise the money till we get to the 500 and even surpass it, because what you have in Houston, Texas right now doesn't go away in two or three months. This will be here for years, the recovery effort. And we want to put every child that we know of back in a bed and what we're doing, Cambrell, for the first time ever, is we're putting the, the parents back in a bed, too. We want to make these families whole. And we have never had the need to really uh, focus on the parents, and they're, they're paramount to us right now, because without the parents, these children have nothing. And that is a wonderful gesture when you think about that. It's Houston Children's Charity, but the children are so much better when the parents are better Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. This whole process, you said you're going to keep going it until you We are going to keep going until the need has uh, been mitigated to a great degree, and I don't think that will happen in the next couple of years. Is it interesting how much we have so much to be proud of in this city, but with that going on, we have that kind of poverty in pockets that allows people to not have beds, and that's one of the reasons you guys are doing what you're Kimbrough, doing. Kimbrough, 38 percent of Houston's children live below the poverty line. And of those 38%, 25% are food insecure seven days a week. And yet we are the number one most philanthropic city right. in the United States by Charity Navigator for the third year now. That's an amazing So number. that's an amazing um, <laughs> contradiction. 
Well, let's talk about how people can help. I know that if they go to your website, I went to it. It's a beautiful first page, and there's a picture of Carlos. And yes. it's about time now that they're going into the playoffs and going to be World right. Series champions, maybe this gives people the chance to even donate that's more. Right. But that's, is that the best way to go ahead Absolute. and get involved? Absolutely. Go to the website or go to youcaring.com, Carlos Correa. Carlos would love to see you go to his youcaring uh, site. Uh, but, but either way, just you can even call our office. Uh, the Houston Children's Charity Office, and we'll take your money over the telephone. I'll put that number and all that contact information on the My Newsmakers website so people great. can have that. Um, in the minute we have left, what are some of the other things that Houston Children's Charity is doing right now in, in conjunction with getting these beds for children? Well, uh, a program that impacts the entire family every day is our van program. We take children who are multiply handicapped and wheelchair bound for their lives, and we give that family a wheelchair accessible van with a lift. And we did 15 of those just a couple of months ago. Three of them got flooded out. We just replaced them with brand new vans. We've got about 145 of those vans on the street. And uh, it's a big expense for one child, but it impacts an entire family. Laura Ward, you are an angel on earth. You and everyone else associated with your children's charity, thank you so much for what you do. As I said, all the information we've talked about, I'm gonna put it on my website so you all can get involved and help reach this milestone. Thank, Thank you, Kimbrough. The real angels are my board members. Absolutely. Well, they get help and they, they, they have to be wrangled by somebody and you're the one who Thank does it. Thank you that. so much. Thank you so much.